Right. Let's go to Valcaster, take a look at it. That is live right now from Valcaster. Now he, don't panic, Oklahoma. Hang on, he's two counties out in the panhandle. That on storm is slowly making its way slowly to the uh, east-northeast. Let's get an update from Val and Amy. And uh, there it is, elephant trunk tornado on the ground. I see debris. Val, what direction are you looking and what direction is the tornado? Looks like now it's moving from right to left. Go ahead. It, it is. It's, it's now moving from west to east. Uh, we are looking southwest at it, uh, and it's going to be about maybe three miles southwest of the town of Clarendon out here. Uh, look at the uh, the debris. It's I mean, this thing is a drill bit right to the ground. It, it, it's kicking up debris. I know the, the ground is wet out here, so it's a hard time to get. Oh, look at that. A lot of debris now. A lot of debris at the base. Zoom at the base. All right, so um, once again, David, this thing has, has been on the ground now for a while. This is the second tornado we've seen. It started off very large. Now it's gotten narrow, but by no means is it weak. It's a pretty, it's pretty strong for what it is. Yeah. So we're going to stay with it. Back to you. Yeah, uh, I think it's fair to say we can go with an, an EF2 at this point just by looking at velocity data. Maybe stronger, but uh, and notice how the cone is getting a little bit wider at the top. So uh, there's what's left. That's what's part of the wall cloud over here. And obviously coming out of the mesocyclone, dropping straight down to the ground. This is, again, near Clarendon, Texas. This is live from Valcaster. And once again, this storm is crawling towards the Oklahoma-Texas state line. That's why we are in the panhandle right now. And we're going to bring these storms east towards the border. Whoa. And uh, I, I tell you what, control. look at that. Now it's putting on a show. Here we go. Val, uh, great job. I tell you what, control room if we can. Let's leave this up. You got time? Scoot this to the left. Give me a box or scoot it behind me. Leave this up, control room. And then let's go to Lynx 1. Okay? I know. I got you. I got you. So look at it snaking along here. That's a strong tornado. That's a strong tornado. And that is live right now from Valcaster out in the Texas Panhandle near Clarendon. And uh, that's about, uh, how far is that from the border, Justin? About 55 miles. 55 miles from the Texas-Oklahoma state line to that storm. So, again, we're going to have tornadoes in the panhandle. They're going to try and they're going to limp their way to the east and come into eventually western and southwestern Oklahoma. And we'll see what they're doing when they get here. But right now, um, what's going on in the panhandle is what it's all about. Val, is there something going on to your right now on the right side of this uh, Lowering over here, is there another funnel beginning to form to the right? It looks like it's trying to, but uh, either way, this is live. We're going to leave that up. There's the tornado right here. Tornado watch in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. There's Beaver County down the line. The watch does include Harmon County in southwest Oklahoma. So these are all supercells. We might get more tornadoes up here. Jeremy and Marty are closing in on that. And uh, again, this is a storm that Val's on. There's another one here. It's a left mover. All it's going to do is produce big wind, big hail, but we're watching it and then other supercells are trying to go up. But right now, this is the only game in town near Clarendon, Texas. And again, it's moving northeast, but slowly. And I mean slowly, not very fast at all. Look at the tornado now behind me, or next to me. It's now roping out, and uh, it's weakening. So we'll see what it does. It'll probably cycle. It'll weaken. That'll die, and then we'll get a new tornado to fill in and come in, come in after that. But uh, it's all about the panhandle right now. Supercell developing here. Marty's closing in. Jeremy's closing in. And look at this thing behind me. That is live right now from Valcaster. And wow, I'm telling you, this thing is, it's, uh, it's flipping and flopping and dancing for sure. All right, so uh, there you go. New storms out here. And these will evolve, and they're going to try to come into western Oklahoma. Looking at shear rate right here where Val is, of course, that's about as high as you can get. And uh, this is, the mes this is a, an incredible shot of our volumetric product only on News 9. And look at the mesocyclone. Can you see where the hook is? Cassie, do me a favor. Let's fly in underneath this here. Get up underneath that and just kind of tilt it up. Look at that. And I can't even see Val. He's underneath it. He's underneath this. That's why we can't see him on his GPS. But look at the, uh, yeah, the spin and the hook right there. All right, back to Lynx 1. Here we go in Oklahoma City. Well, we are mostly sunny, 79 degrees. Look at the wind here, gusting to 34 miles per hour. Our humidity right now, it's high at 60%. We have 70s, we have 80s, and I've got a tornado on my back from Valcaster again out in the panhandle. All right, so this evening, we're going to keep a moderate risk of severe storms coming out of the panhandle. There might just be one, two, or three storms in northwestern, western, and southwestern Oklahoma. I think we'll have a better chance of a little more numerous severe storms here. And for Oklahoma City, a slight chance we get a severe storm. That would be after midnight. Okay, it'll be after midnight. So until midnight, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the west. Once again, one or two of these 
supercells rotating, chance for tornadoes into the evening out west. There's our tornado zone. It's way out west, right? I don't think we're going to see any tornadoes in Oklahoma City. And then uh, hail, big hail in the far west and southwest this evening. And then as we get into tonight, I think we will eventually get a wave of showers and storms coming east overnight tonight from central down into southern Oklahoma that will include the metro. Lows tonight in the 60s. Here comes the cold front, and the cold front tomorrow will kick off. More showers and storms tomorrow, and some of those could be strong, could be severe. 90 forecast might see, again, more showers and storms over the weekend. Next week is very unstable. We're tracking it, possibly more severe weather on Monday. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this.